welcome to or welcome back to Norris Cove. If you're new here, I'm Yoshida. I'm a self-employed hairstylist. I like to get my life together by planning minimally and functionally using a planner. I also like to plan my budget and my finances using a planner. If that sounds like something that you are interested in, please stick around, hit that subscribe button, also hit the notification bell, letting me know that you are new here in the comments so that I can welcome you to the Cove. But today, you guys, we are going to do some debt updating. I said I would update you guys on my debt payoff. And I was going to do it like the end of the month. That was the thing, kind of picking a date. And I have to be honest with y'all. I was just paying the stuff, okay? <laughs> I was just paying it. But as you can see here, we played off Klarna. Y'all. Pretty much, this was all of February. I think we had a firm in the beginning. We paid off the last little bit of firm at the end, at the beginning of March, which was last week or this week, this week. Um, but we owed two hundred and thirty-two dollars in Klarna. Klarna got paid off in the month of February. A firm. Um, we were overdue by ninety-five dollars and thirty-four cent. Not only did we catch that up, plus we paid the two eighty-five, and then Zip got paid. In the month of February, $237.52. It was behind as well. And then Amazon. I had um, a minimum payment of $119.99, but I had two payments left. So as you can see, it was $240. And I paid off, of course, last month, $119. And then, wait a minute. I was behind a little bit. Well, maybe it was just one payment. I don't know. But we got it paid off. So now that frees up so much money, as you can see. Those little payments that I was paying, um, $20, $30, $40, $50 here and there, um, now is free. I believe that I freed up almost $300 just from the quad pays. And then, well, I'll say $200. And then $120 from Amazon. So now my next plan of action. Let me get a pen to point and my highlighter my next plan of action is to do the snowball effect but also i want to do like the highest interest and community bank you guys i owe them i've given them a payment i think they should be next but at the same time i'm behind in Ulta. i need to pay Ulta. i'm behind in paypal my navy federal is on time it's just a very minimum payment right now so I don't know what to do. Citibank, they basically closed my card, but I still got to pay them. Um, Allie, what I realize is I should take Allie off because this is my car note and I'm not paying this off no time soon. I really got to work on all this. And my, my goal is to pay all these things down, get my credit score back up so that I can eventually refinance Allie and get a cheaper interest rate and a cheaper car note but i'm going to leave it here for now so what i want to do because now i feel like i'm quad free y'all i've been dying to use it but they won't let me use it it's fine i want to i'm trying to pick and choose which one i really want to work on community because now it is the cheaper one i think i owe like two this is paid off paid off community yeah there's 271 dollars and 30 cent left so in my mind i was like okay let's shoot them 50 dollars a week until we get them paid off then we have credit one actually i just made a payment to credit one for i think it was 30 dollars and that was today no yesterday the six I got to look at the balance. I don't know what the balance is. Also, we got to take care of the firm is paid in full. Um, then I need to work on Capital One. Capital One is over. Um, I made this payment on the 15th, so we're over by $187. I like the Capital One card. I want to keep this card. So I somehow want to um, work with this one. Actually, this is not the correct balance. We just paid this. But we're getting things done, y'all. We paid, of course, Amazon is paid in full. We still owe Barclays. And that is our debt payment. So let me go to, I need to fill in this tracker score here. Um, the last I look, y'all, I'm just going to keep it 100. On Experian for the month of March, 
My credit score was 503. Yeah. Before, maybe this time last year, I think my credit was in the 600s. It's just dropped tremendously. You know, so we're just going to put 503 over here. My score goal is to get to child. At this point, <laughs> I want to be... Mm, by the end of the year, I got to be realistic. I don't think my score is going to jump up no 200 points. But I want to get kind of back to where I was. So I'm just going to put 681. My debt total, let's fill that in. We were at, at the beginning, let's go back. We were, oh, I didn't fill that in. Hmm. I could have sworn I did the total. It was 44,000, something like that. So let's do 44, two, three. So yeah, I'm only looking at Experian right now. I'm actually on the Experian website, so I'm gonna leave that. Let's see. I thought I filled in one of these right here, but let's do one of these debt payoffs. I don't do the jars, I just leave it simple. And we have zip. And what do we owe Zip? Let's see. We owed Zip 237, 237 dollars. So we're just gonna go through and highlight all of these. Okay, next up we have Klarna. Let's do Klarna. And how much was Klarna? Mm -hmm. Was two thirty two sixty six. I'm gonna switch the color up. Here we go. Two thirty two sixty six. Okay, so that's Klarna. Next up, we had a firm. Let's do a firm. A firm was two eighty five. Let's pick another color. Okay, then we had Amazon. And I'm going to put 240, which it actually started out being like, was about 600. But then when we started to do that, it was 640. So let's get another cute. I'm going to do the green again. Okay, you guys, so next I'm going to put over here community because we made a payment and I think they're going to be my next order of business. Let me flip and see what we owe community. We started out with community on 303.89.
And then let's look up here for some updates. 303.89. Super Bank. Okay. So there's two payments. Let me do two 10%. I'm gonna try this color right here, it's pretty. dates in here. I didn't put the dates in here because it's paid off. It's paid in full. So next one I want to work on between community is Ulta. So that way it'll kind of bring my eye to make a payment. Let's see what we owe Ulta. I know we are over in Ulta. Um, 511.76 Starting balance. 11.76. So I'm going to kind of be paying these two off simultaneously. And that is it. Let me see if there's anything else in here. That, yeah, all these are just debt payoff factors. I might need to print a few more. <laughs> but I'm so glad I'm making progress. Yeah, we got to get this up by April. I want this to be at least 5.20, 5.30. And we'll just go on up from there. Um, there's something I saw I didn't do. I need to fill out the debt snowball. Let's fill that out real quick. So now that we've gotten rid of the quiet pays, they don't need, they're not really a part of the snowball. Um, we're going to do community. And the minimum amount to community, I think, is 40. And extra payment that we want to give them would be 50. And then the balance on community is 271.30, 271.30. But once I do that, we'll fill this in, okay? So each time I do that, I can fill it in here. Avalanche next would be, what do we say that? I think community is also Avalanche. So yeah, we'll fill that in later. And then let's snap this back in. Y'all, I'm so proud of myself for getting those quad pays off because I really almost said, screw them. I'm not paying them. <laughs> Let them take me to court. But I'm so glad I just buckled down and paid them. Some other things got thrown behind, but I knew I could not sleep because they would keep trying to take money out of my account. And I couldn't even put my regular bills in there. So like this week, I could put my regular bill money in my account. It was throwing my, it was just causing me more harm than good, let's say, because if I put my regular bill money in that account, they may come and snatch it. And that's all I had was my bill money. So that's one of the reasons I wanted to get them paid off. And I'm so thankful that I did. Like these past couple of days when my regular bills come through, I didn't have to switch them to another account. They could sit there. I didn't have to worry about somebody coming and snatching the money and getting an extra fee. So I'm so relieved. I need to leave them alone. So <laughs> here we are. I am so proud of myself, you guys. Let's go back and look at the debt paid off. I didn't want too much color here, but I must admit it's so pretty to see these things fully paid off. I can't wait for this to get up here. Then we'll go on to Ulta. And then I may fill in the rest of these later as we get these two paid off. But right now, these are going to be my two concerns using the debt snowball method and the um avalanche method together so these are the two that i'm working on i'm going to try to send them 50 dollars maybe before the end of the weekend and then also them another 50 and i just paid them so we're gonna knock this out my goal is to have community paid off by april and then half of ulta paid off by the end of april may I think we can do it. Okay, you guys, thank you all so much for watching. Again, if today was your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell. Come back for more content like this. Leave me a message in the comment section letting me know that you're new so that I can welcome you to the code. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.